Hello, welcome back. In the previous videos, we have been completing our reducers and actions. Okay, so save this file. Okay, our project is getting lengthy, so I decided to give you some important files of our e-commerce project. Okay, let's go and download those files. Okay, go to browser and you can go to description of any video and you can go to my github link and then you will be navigated to this page okay and then you can download zip dot download yes okay download has been completed go to your downloaded file and extract files here okay okay you can open the folder and those files are here okay okay go to your project directory manually or you can copy the path and go to file explorer and open here and paste that file so this is your source directory and open this go here open your some important files and copy all of those and paste inside your source folder okay remember these six files components decor decorator helpers hooks sagas and selectors okay so far in this project i've already talked about the styles file okay we have already copied it if you go to my previous videos at the start of this project you can find that video but if you haven't copied the styles file then you can go and you can copy those downloaded files okay i have already copied it to my source directory and if you want to check my package.json file okay that we have edited in the previous videos then you can go and you can copy that json file as well and you can find in package.json all of those packages that we have installed in our project manual okay you can find dependencies and dev dependencies okay that's all about the files okay go to your source directory and you can find all of those files components in components we have auth sign out and i've already imported react redux and actions that we have created in the previous videos and inside basket we have basket basket items okay and we will be discussing all of those files when we will be creating our views okay these are the actual files that will be displayed on the screen and we will be importing in views all of those components and we'll be talking about them later and next one is decorator okay you can find the time lapse inside your project with this file that how much time that should be given to a particular action or a page to be loaded and these files by the way are forever love you can use these files in every project of your redux or react project so you can save this file for remaining different projects and then helpers in which you can manage your date month or year you can manage your currency you can add different currencies in here for your e-commerce project and we have used toast for feedback or some kind of notifications in our project and go to hooks we have used use state use effect use did mount hooks and if you don't know all of these hooks is going to be present in my react redux course and you can find that course on my youtube channel okay and use field handler means if i go to project and if i sign out and if i sign in without giving any value then you can see that please fill in this field so all of this management is done inside field handler and you can save this file 
for using inside future React Redux projects. So this is kind of a reusable file. And you can also use file handler in which you can manage your different images, videos, all of those. Okay. So this file is also usable. And then Saga. Saga is very important and I will be discussing it in a whole video. Okay. All of those files will be discussed in that video. Let's go to selectors. And this file is giving you functionality about your filters. Okay. Name, descending, ascending, and descending and ascending price value inside your store in here. Okay. So you can also save this file for using these filters in other projects. And the last but not least, if we go in here, styles, I've already talked about this style in my previous video. You can copy this style sheet. So in the next video, we will be talking about our store and we will be setting our store. And then we'll be going to edit our views. And then we will be running our application and we'll be seeing how our application looks like on every stage. So let's have a quick break and see you after this break.